Hi guys and welcome back to our second week review episode in the Flinch Squad Circuit Moon Series. We kicked off last week with our first review episode. We had all the games from week one. It was an explosive episode. It was amazing to watch, commentate, and I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for all the feedback. And if you missed that and you haven't caught any of the Flinch Squad Circuit Moon Series matches yet, you can go back up here click the link and it'll take you to last week's episode so you can check that out before we come into week two which we are in today so without further ado guys let's get in to today's episode now we are going to be starting off with looking at the matchups for week two we are going in to the 21st of January kicking off here week two matches are gonna be Pokemarty versus Johnny Hacks We've got shared versus hectic VGC Zen Fist Ace versus Pinko VGC Krim versus Yorine Bebem versus Stu Porygon J versus Alex Imagi VGC versus Will and Luigi 22 versus Nigel So some extremely exciting matches going into today's episode and I hope you guys enjoy each and every one of them So without further ado, we're gonna kick off today with Johnny versus Pokemarty and as you can see on your screen right in front of you we're getting straight into it so we're gonna see Marty lead off with the Xerneas and Smeagol and Johnny lead off with his Xerneas and Incineroar we've got the Intimidate coming out from the Incineroar fake out pressure from both sides of the field Marty Smeagol putting on more pressure though we're gonna see the fake out from the Smeagol into the Xerneas Incineroar on Johnny's side going into that Smeagol leaving Marty's Xerneas open to go for that Geomancy which it does and it boosts up activating that power herb and getting those plus two boosts across the board very threatening now so Marty in a great position what is Johnny going to do to adjust here really difficult situation now we are going to see Johnny just go for that protect on the Xerneas and is the Moonblast going to come out from the opposing Xerneas into that Incineroar follow me from the Smeagol but the Dazzling Gleam it is coming out it's going to hit into both targets but the Incineroar taking that and taking this time to U-turn out and bring in Amoongus now Johnny putting himself really back in the game with access to that Rage Powder and the Spore and the Clear smog potentially from that Amoongus just seeing another follow me from that Smeagol as Dazzling Gleam comes out into both targets again going to chip down that Xerneas take it down to about half health as Johnny now is in a position to Geomancy himself got to think that Marty was in a position there to go for that lovely kiss and really getting punished now as the Amoongus is in and goes for that spore shutting down that follow me support from Marty Smeagol we're going to see an accuracy drop there. The Amoongus switching out straight away. And Cinero going to hit the field now. Come back in. Cycle those Intimidates again. Not really going to matter on both of these. Special type attack as is. Marty Xerneas Protect and another Geomancy coming out from Johnny going crazy here going for that picking his moment perfectly thinking that Marty is gonna go for that Protect because the Amoongus puts on so much pressure with that Smeagol being asleep and picking that moment just to go for another Geomancy as he brings in the Incineroar with that fake out support now going into the Xerneas as it has protected and the Xerneas on Johnny's side of the field going for that double Geomancy crazy man and taking the game right back into Johnny's side of the field so we are going to see Xerneas on Johnny's side just protect here as the opposing Xerneas on Marty's side goes for the protect hoping that Smeagol can wake up but it does stay asleep unfortunately as a fair bit comes into the Xerneas slot into that protect not doing anything this turn Smeagol is going to wake up we are going to see a follow me from this Smeagol is it going to be enough though because the Dazzling Gleam comes out takes it down chips that Xerneas down to about half health as a Moonblast comes out and it actually survives that's crazy as a Flare Blitz comes out and is enough to pick up the KO and you've got to think that Johnny is in such a commanding position now with that plus four Geomancy Xerneas it's not going to take very much to take out everything on the field the Lunala here is going to be threatening with its Shadow Shield able to take that as we see take Tapu Koko down straight away but a side cup coming out from the Lunala last stitch attempt but the Incineroar here is the crux in Marty's plan taking the KO as we get straight into game two same leads coming out from marty here as we see a little bit of a switch up here from johnny's side bringing that requaza and the amoongus here turn one gonna see the requaza quickly retreat as the incineral comes straight onto the field gonna cycle that intimidate like we saw earlier not really affecting these special attackers too much as a fake out into the amoongus no geomancy this turn and a moonblast straight into that incineral nice damage there and marty playing it quite safe not wanting to go for that geomancy with the amoongus on the field smeagol gonna be kept for later on as we see tapu Koko switching get the electric terrain up and immunity from those spores that are potentially coming up from the amoongus xerneas gonna protect here as a fake out comes out 
into that type of cocoa and a spore as well, but surrounded by the electric terrain, not going to be affected. Now, Xenia's going to stick around for later in the game as Marty switches in Incineroar for that slot, getting the Intimidate onto the opposing Incineroar as the Amoongus goes for a Rage Powder. Volt switch now into the Amoongus from the Tapu Coco, pulled in from that Rage Powder, protecting Incineroar as the Xerneas comes onto the field now. And a U-turn coming out from Johnny's Incineroar and likely bringing in that Xerneas now. Xerneas is all about on the field, but Johnny feeling in the better position now. Getting his Incineroar in, burning the fake up from the supposed Incineroar on Marty's end. As we do see, it just protect you. This opens up the door for a Geomancy and Johnny gets it off. And I feel like this game is all about who gets that Geomancy off first, who supports it well and who makes the most of it. Who Xerneas goes down first really dictates who's going to win this game as the Snarl comes out from Marty's Incineroar to reduce at least the special attack stat on that boosted Xerneas. Xerneas now going to switch out, going to preserve itself for later as a Faker comes out from the Incineroar into the opposing Incineroar and Smeagol coming in for that Xerneas slot going to be able to take that attack with his Focus Sash intact and now pressuring that Fake Out support. So we are going to see the Incineroar on Johnny's side of the field, switch out. Rayquaza hitting the field now, producing that airlock ability as the opposing Xerneas just goes for that protect. Spiky Shield coming out from Smeagol, just going to preserve itself this turn as Incineroar goes for a U-turn out into the Rayquaza and it's likely going to be that Xerneas back onto the field now for Marty, so producing that Fairy Aura. The Smeagol get an accuracy boost, which is very helpful for that lovely kiss potential. We're going to see the Dazzling Gleam just come out here. It is enough to pick up the Smeagol, take the Xerneas down to about 50% as it does go for the Geomancy. So you've got to think here was a good time to get rid of that Rayquaza on Johnny's side of the field because now it does threaten a Z move if that's what Johnny's went for. And it is, it is the Super Sonic Sky Strike and it's going to hit right into that Xerneas now and be more than enough to pick up the knockout. It is not intimidating. It is going to be hitting full force and there we are, there is the game set and match I feel as Tapu Koko comes in for Marty with the Incineroar now. He's got access to the Faker but it's just a simple protect on Johnny's side of the field and he'll be able to close this one up quite easily. We're going to see a protect from the Xerneas, burn this Faker from Marty's side of the field with a Thunderbolt into that requires that just hangs on and a Dragon Dance coming out and becoming very threatening as this turn goes on with a Snarl from the Incineroar. Probably enough to take down the Rayquaza but you've still got the opposing Xerneas on the field as Incineroar now comes in. Cycles the Intimidate on to more importantly opposing Incineroar on Marty's side of the field and it's got that fake out which it goes for into the Incineroar. Moonblast into the Incineroar doubling in on that slot not enough to pick up the knockout as Tapakog was left unchecked here produce some sort of hacks can we get it it is the paralysis can marty pull this back can the, the zernius if it is paralyzed for a few turns that would be enough oh the thunderbolt coming in not quite enough he needed the ko there on that incineral just managed to hang on zernius actually paralyzed here so big big turn here for marty if he can manage to make something of this flare blitz coming into the top of knocking it out as a snarl comes out from the opposing incineral you've got to think there that you want to be going for those flare blitzes trying to get some damage onto it trying to remove it because of one more fully paralyzed and then the game could be all in marty's favor again i'm gonna see a flare blitz it's just not doing enough after that intimidate though and uh, johnny wrapping things up with his own incineral and that intimidate there so really good match johnny taking it and having an extremely good start to the week we're going into our second game today and it's going to be crim versus urine and uh, this one is going to be a great match. We are going to see Urine lead off with the Tapu Fini and the Smeagol. And Krim lead off with that Crobat and Cineral. Both sides of the field have access to that fake out Crobat. Going to be immune to the Misty Terrain now. Being a flying type and can be prone to Lovely Kiss. Fake out coming out from the Smeagol. And a Tailwind set up from the Crobat. Cineral not going to be able to attack here because of the... The flinch there on the fake out turn from the Smeagol as a Tailwind does get set up in a Nature's Madness coming out from the Tapu Fini halving the health of that Crobat. Taunt now coming out into the Smeagol slot as a U-turn comes out from the Incineroar into that Tapu Fini. Going back and bringing in the Sogaleo now. Nature's Madness again coming out and this time into that Sogaleo. Tapu Fini putting in a lot of work with these Nature's Madnesses and they are hitting, taking everything down to 50% health. Follow me coming out now from the Smeagol. Going to protect that Tapu Fini this turn as a super fine comes out from the crowbat into that slot as sun seal strike comes out and does avoid as another nature's madness comes into that so slowly chipping it down you're going to see the crowbat switch out now and cinero hit the field 
and cycle that intimidated support but it's not really gonna matter too much in these special attackers as Sogalera retreats this turn and Kyogre hitting the field bringing that drizzle ability back to the field here as a follow me again comes out from the Smeagol just protecting that type of thing even further as another Nature's Madness comes out this time into the Incineroar again chipping everything down three Pokemon on Crim's side of the field all chipped down to 50% or less just from that Nature's Madness so type of Finny putting in a lot of work as it switches out now Groudon gonna hit the field bring the Sun over right that rain and Smoky Shield from the Smeagol as a figure comes into it. Incineroar we're just taking a bit of chip damage. Now Water Spout coming out from the Kyogre, going to do good damage to that Groudon, even though it is in the sun. And the Smoothie Boost coming out as a defense boost and the Speed Drop here for the Smeagol. Incineroar now switching out for Krim as the Crobat comes back onto the field. Kyogre just protecting this turn from any Precipice Blades as the Groudon just matches suit and the Smeagol goes for a lovely kiss, but it is into the Protect, unfortunately, as the Crobat is now in and threatens that Taunt onto the Smeagol, shutting it down. Kyogre going to take this opportunity to switch out as the Incineroar comes in, gets that all important intimidate onto the ground on now really important for Krim here as a lovely kiss now comes into that slot and does connect with the incineral a tailwind setup as a fire punch comes out not enough to pick up the knockout onto the crawler after that intimidates a really nice play here for Krim and putting himself in a very good position able to u-turn this turn and if he does and bring in that Kyogre could be very very useful for him Incineroar unfortunately stays asleep though as we see the taunt come out onto the Smeagol eventually from that Crobat shutting down any potential for Lovely Kiss spamming future. Smeagol now switching out for the Xerneas on Urine's end of the field as we do see another Crobat go for another Tailwind here. Maybe a misclick as we see a light screen there from the Tepu Finney just going to bolster those offences a bit as the sunlight does fade. Taunt now coming out into the Xerneas going to prevent it from going for that Geomancy but Urine not falling for it just going straight for a Moonblast going to get rid of that Crobat the one thing that is preventing him from setting up right now with those taunts as a heal pulse comes out and is revealed on your side of the field but not really being able to do anything into that full health of Xerneas. Moonblast now coming out it is not enough to pick up the Sogaleo to health that hangs on with as it can return with a Sunsteel Strike into that Xerneas and it gets the one hit KO. Big 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 reveal there for Krim and Urine as the life orb is revealed. Incineroar now waking up able to get that all important U-turn out onto the Tapu Fini and bring that Kyogre onto the field now with the Drizzle ability activated. We are going to see Smeagol hit the field again for Urine as Incineroar comes out for Krim. Both got access to that fake out now and can take advantage of this. You've got to be very careful with that Nature's Madness from the opposing Tapu Fini as the Thunder comes out from Kyogre into the Finny. It is going to take it down to half health and a Nature's Madness coming out from the Ka from this Finny into the Kyogre to get it down to 50% as well. Some matching suits. It's an accuracy drop on the Smeagol and a Follow Me coming out from that Pokemon this turn. There's a Water Spout coming out now. Going to be enough to pick up the Smeagol and take it down and reduce Urine's ability to do very much. Going to see another Nature's Madness come out into this Kyogre as a knockoff comes out. Reveals the Wiki Berry, takes that away and Groudon now hitting the field. Going to overwrite that rain once again with the Sun. Put himself in a really nice position. But it is the Hydro Vortex coming out from Crimson. End. A huge huge turn and even in the sun you've got to think because it is getting the jump on the ground and it is going to be enough to pick up the knockout here huge water type attack picks up the knockout on ground and this could be enough to steal the game for Krim as a U-turn comes out into that type of finny going to do a little bit of chip damage but with the sun up it should be enough Scald not quite enough to pick up the finny does get the burn and that is going to seal the deal as the nature's madness misses really crazy weather war here kicking into this first game but really well played from both players and Krim just edging it slightly so it'll be interesting to see how both players react going into game two I'm gonna see Urine lead off with the Incineroar and the type of Finny and Krim lead off with his Crobat and Incineroar I'm gonna see the Intimidates coming out onto both opposing and on the field Incineroar's here very useful but both access to fake out you can't fake out the Crobat though so that's one thing as we see a Tailwind set up from the Crobat and a Nature's Madness again gonna be spiking down onto that Crobat taking it down to half health now we're gonna see a super Fang from the Crobat into the opposing type of Finny, going to match suit with those Nature's Madness as we see Sogaleo hit the field for that opposing Incineroar as a light screen is set up from the type of Finny and the opposing Incineroar on Urine's end of the field going for that U-turn as well into that Crobat slot, chipping it down as Groudon hits the field. We are going to see the Sun activated onto the field now and that Sogaleo in a really tight position as we see type of Finny switch out, Incineroar going to hit the field again and uh, the Tailwind is up but can the Sogaleo 
and the Crawbat take down this Groudon. It does protect this turn as we do see a double up into that slot, but it is in vain because we've got the fake out pressure now from this Incineroar. Cannot fake the Crawbat. It is into that Sugaleo slot as we see a Super Fang into the Groudon. Groudon going for a Stone Edge. It does hit, takes down the Crawbat, but this just opens the door for the Kyogre to come in and start throwing these big water spouts out in the rain now. Ky Groudon in the f on the field does not like to be in this position. It is forced to switch out. Tapu Fini going to hit the field now. Water spout coming out. Going to take down that Incineroar for sure. And then not enough to proc that Wiki Berry on the Tapu Fini as a Sun Seal Strike coming out from the Sogaleo. It is life all boosted. You've got to imagine this is going to be enough. And it is enough to take it down. Urine's resources are really stretched now. He has got the Groudon in the back to come in. Get the Sun up. And he still has that Xerneas. So game is not over yet. But you've still got to be wary about that Waterium Z on the Kyogre that threatens that Groudon so heavily now. We're going to see the Xerneas protect here just to get around any turn and Groudon protecting just to stall out these Tailwind turns as we see the Hydro Vortex once again from the Kyogre. It is going to be into that Groudon slot for sure just to make sure it is knocking it out, protecting that Sogaleo and Sogaleo in such a good position right now to go for that knockout into the Xerneas Sun Seal Strike into the Groudon though. Predicting that Xerneas protect. We're going to see a Moonblast now into the Kyogre as it does chip it down and a Scald come out into the ground and not enough to pick up the knockout here and proc a 50% berry a Nyapa berry as a Sunsteel Strike is coming out from the Sogaleo where is it going to be into? Is it going to be into that Xerneas? It's not, it's into the ground on and it is enough to pick up the knockout. What a huge turn there for Krim and that is the end of the game. Great game for both players here and massive congratulations to Krim for picking up his first victory in the circuit this week. So we're going into our next match of the episode and it is going to be Stu versus Bebum. So going to be a real hot contest here as we see Stu lead off with that Lugia and the Ludicolo. As Bebum leads off with his Tornadus and Incineroar. Lugia exerting pressure revealing that it's not that multi-scale variant and uh, we'll see where the fake out comes. It is into the Tornadus from that Ludicolo as the fake out again comes out just burning both fake outs this turn and we'll go into this next one. Ludicolo going to retreat as Kyogre hits the field now bringing that rain with it and really dampening the power of that Incineroar on the opposite side of the field. Tailwind coming out from the Tornadus as a Z-move is coming out from the Lugia. Where is it going to be? It's going to be Z-Tailwind though. Going to boost up those critical hit potential and also give the speed boost to Stu's side of the field as we see the U-turn come out from the Incineroar and the Ludicolo come in as... Gengar hits the field now. Kyogre stalling out for later as a Faker comes out from the Ludicolo and a Hurricane into that Gengar. Gengar able to hang on and the Curse Body activating. Huge turn here for Stu, putting him right back in the driving seat. So Tornadus is now forced to switch out and Sinor going to hit the field. As you see the Intimidate, but it's not going to make too much difference as we see a Hydro Vortex come out from this Ludicolo. Will it be enough? It's got to be into that Lugia slot. It's so threatened from those Aero Blasts coming out and those critical hits are going to be happening from Stu's side of the field. And it's not enough. Sludge Bomb going to come out into the loot column not enough to take it down and an aero blast as well doubling in that slot just to make sure and it is a critical hit because of that z tailwind we've got the tornadoes now going to hit the field again these tailwinds are slowly running out as we see a hurricane just come into that Lugia slot and pick up the knockout there as a taunt comes into the tornado. It's going to stop it from being able to set up tailwinds and any other shenanigans going on from there as a snarl comes out from the Incineroar, picks up the knockout onto the Gengar and Ludicolo and Kyogre now coming into the field for Stu. Is he going to got enough to pick up the win here? Skull coming out from the Ludicolo into that Incineroar, going to proc a berry on that slot. And now we are going to see a water spot from Kyogre it is going to be enough and takes down two of Bebum's big Pokemon here in the Tornadus and the Incineroar not able to do anything the rain does stop unfortunately and the Xerneas in so Bebum's still in a good position now if you can get this Geomancy off before water spot but revealing the choice scarf on the Kyogre going to do big damage as we see a Geomancy come out before that Ludicolo is able to attack and get those power boosts across special attack special defense and speed and make sure that it probably is able to take an attack from this Ludicolo just hanging on but the burn coming out the burn coming out and Bebum oh that is so unfortunate but Stu able to wrap this one up as we go into game two here we're gonna go straight into it as we see Lugia and Raichu now lead out for Stu as we see the same lead from Bebum with that Tornadus and Ludicolo Ludicolo now pressuring the fake out
as we see a nuzzle come in and pick up the, the, the paralysis onto the Ludicolo and a tailwind come out from the Tornadus as the Lugia was prevented from moving that turn. Intimidate now coming in from that Incineroar as the Ludicolo switches out. Hurricane blind, no rain up, does hit into the Raichu just getting some damage onto it and the Confusion as well, that's a big turn as the Raichu hits itself in Confusion but we are going to see the Z Tailwind now come out again from this Lugia, match this Tailwind from the Tornadus and boost those critical hit ratios there it has got access to you see a protect now from the tornadoes as we see the Raichu is it it is not confused it goes for the nuzzle into the protect and a double in on the tornado slot as a flare blitz comes out into that Raichu picks up the knockout getting rid of it and now does this pave the way for the Kyogre it does and now Kyogre putting a lot of pressure onto the opposing Incineroar now as the Lugia is really threatening as well with that Aeroblast Ludicolo now going to hit the field that is Parala Paralyzed though as a water spot comes out in the tailwind and does pick up the knockout onto the tornadoes as an aeroblast now coming into that Ludicolo picking up the knockout with that critical hit and Stu paving the way with this Lugia Kyogre. Xerneas now coming out with the Incineroar. There is fake out there to take advantage of, but you've got to be so scared of either a water spout or an aeroblast here. Which target do you target down with the Incineroar to help get that Xerneas set up? Kyogre gonna switch out, Ludicolo gonna come in now, fake out into that slot. Aero Blast coming out from the loop the Lugia and it is a critical hit taking big damage and the Xerneas able to get its Geomancy off so it is boosted up and it will start threatening but this rain is up and the Lugia is still at good health so can you see it survive it needs to survive you need to take down the Lugia here because that critical hit will overwrite any any sort of boost that the, the, the Xerneas has had a snarl coming out hitting both targets reduce this special attack damage output on both Pokemon as we see the Xerneas just protect here after that fake up from the Ludicolo the previous turn. Scald coming into the Incineroar not quite enough to take it down. Does proc the berry on Incineroar though and activating that Agua Berry as an Aeroblast into that Xerneas again. U-turn now coming out from the Incineroar. Going to be enough to pick up the Ludicolo as we see Kyogre hit the field now and now you've got to think that this game is probably over. Another protect from that Xerneas. Water Spout coming out with the Tailwind boost and able to take both targets down and really well played from Stu and Bebums. And we're going to wrap things up there guys. This is not all the matches that we've got for week two though. So what we're going to do this week is split the episode into two sections. So we will be back with episode part two of week two very soon so do tune in for that one i hope you've enjoyed today's episodes and the matches in today's episodes it's been a lot of fun and to see the results all the results of week one make sure that you do catch part two of week two in our flinch squad moon series circuit so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed it and we'll be back for more episodes very soon so until then guys take care of yourselves and bye bye